Shalom. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halim La Alahayanawa Yehawah Bahashim, Yehawah Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom rule well, and who are great examples to our younger brethren, and also whom I have learned this truth from. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the hopeful elect of Yahweh Bashmi Awashai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And the title of this lesson will be We must not let the externals divert our minds from what they ought to be focused upon. Right? We must not let the externals divert our minds from what they ought to be focused upon. Right? And the externals being our day-to-day -day outside of this truth, you know, the job and, you know, different things, right? The externals. You see? So we can't let those things divert our minds from what they ought to be focused upon, you know? And matter of fact, I'll start off with the book of 2 Timothy, the uh, second chapter in the third verse. And it reads, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, no man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. See? So, you know, as brethren, our mind ought to be focused upon the mission. Right? And what's our mission? Our mission is to finish the course. Right? Let me get that. Let me get that. Uh, Salakia for the noise in the background. <laughs> Right, Second Timothy 4 and 7, and it reads, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto, them, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Right? So, you know, that's the mission. That's the objective is to finish our course. You see? You know, to endure until the end. Because the scriptures tell you, uh, let me get this briefly, Matthew 24 and verse 13. And it reads, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. You see? And that word endure simply goes into remain. So let's see, uh, I want to go back to the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 2 and verse 3. And let me get it in, in the NLT. So I'll get 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Right, and this is the NLT. And it reads, endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life. For then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. So we have to be, and I was going to do another lesson entitled, uh, We Must Be Purpose Oriented or Oriented. But yeah, man, we have to be purpose and, and mission oriented, right? Just like, you know, the elder apostles and brethren have said, you know, when it comes to this truth, man, you circle your, your outside life around the, I mean, you, uh, you, you, 
How can I say it? Uh, you. Damn. How can I say it? You uh, you establish your outside life around the truth, right? Because this truth is our priority, right? You know, yeah, you got to work the job and stuff like that. But priorities have to be set straight and established properly at that, right? Let me, let me change locations a bit. Yes. That noise in the background. Right, so. So let's see. Uh, now let me get Colossians, the third chapter. And I'll start at verse one. And it reads, If ye then be risen with the anointed, seek those things which are above, where the anointed sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Right? And that word affection goes into care, attachment, so on and so forth. You see? So let's let me get Proverbs, the fourth chapter as well. Verse 25. Right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and verse 25. And it reads, Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee, going into being tunnel vision. And that's how we have to be. Right, focused. Right? Let's get this, if we can get this as well. Matthew, the sixth chapter. It's lucky. Matthew, chapter six, verse 33. And it reads, but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Right. Let me get this as well. Romans the eighth chapter, because you know the mind of Jake is upon, you know, carnal things, and things of the world. Right, and the scriptures tell you that Romans eight and five, and it reads, "For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace." See, in the elect are those who are ultimately, truly, spiritually minded. Right, verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. Right. And I, I want to get this as well. Um, hopefully I can find it. Let me see. Let us drink. Salakia. Damn, I'm probably not going to be able to find it because I don't remember the exact. way things were said but um that's pretty much the point of this lesson so with that lord willing you were edified once again and forever all praises honor and glorification unto our mighty marvelous and wonderful power call halayim la alahayinawa yehawa bashim yawashai bashim rakakwadash salutations as well as health and wellness unto you since your akim if you since your akwath 
See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. And you have by Shemia Washai Baba Kasha Baba Shalom, DTA soon, and stay sharp.